Okay, going to get a lawnmower and make a little money. Whenever you see one of these lawnmowers laying around, somebody gives it to you, it's on the street, whatever. Uh, I usually see minimum 100 bucks. Okay, if it, it looks like it's all in one piece, minimum 100 bucks. If it doesn't have a cable for the uh, on off thing, I might go ahead and hot wire a $5, $4, $5 on off switch straight to the magneto. It disables the brake and the kill switch. So I'm putting a new kill switch on there. Um, kind of rambling there, but anyway, a mower, basic push mower like this one is. Hundred bucks. A lady gave this to me. I sold her another mower. She's a landlord. She needs mowers for her tenants, and you know, this is something that uh, she didn't need anymore. She said it was in good shape, which it is, all in one piece. There's no bag with it. Uh, but usually, hundred bucks. You know, especially in the beginning of the season and the springtime, people are bringing out their mowers that they've had for a while or whatever. They sat all winter, the gas went bad, and now the carburetor probably needs cleaning, got to drain out that old gas, but they're not going to do that stuff. They'll put a new spark plug in it, they'll put too much oil in it, and then they'll cause more problems, and uh, then it's really toast. So they're looking for mowers in the springtime, and then you can get at least $100 for a basic push mower like this, maybe even $125 in the early spring. As you get into middle June, the end of June, everybody's pretty much got the mower that they're going to use for the summer. And uh, you can't really get, you know, this right now, probably $85, $90. Uh, if, I, if I waited long enough, uh, I could probably get $100 uh, in a week or two on this one. Someone's in a, you know, tight spot. There's, uh, you know, the commercial landscaper guys, they're just looking for some junker, you know, to push mower the edges where their big riding mowers and their walk behind mowers can't get to. So they're looking for a fast solution and a hundred bucks is nothing for those guys. They're making a thousand bucks a day, maybe on a good day. So anyway, a hundred dollars. So what are we looking for? Oh, if you stick with me, um, like the video, if this is going to help you out and uh, maybe like making a little money and flipping some mowers with just some basic maintenance done on them to get them back up and going, maybe sharpen the blade, clean the carburetor out. That's what I plan on doing with this one probably, unless there's something else major going on. I really don't know what's going on with this yet. I haven't checked it out, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you like the video, uh, like, you know, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I got about 300 plus other videos on small engine repair stuff. Check them out. And if you subscribe, you'll get notifications whenever I put out new videos about uh, just working on engines. But this one specifically, uh, I'm going to go through. If you follow me, if you subscribe, uh, you're going to see me go through the whole uh, process of finding, fixing this thing, putting it on Facebook, and selling it. Okay. And that might, this might be a, two part video, or I might do it all in one shot here. But basically, when you find a mower, um, you know, is it even worth picking up? Uh, usually I'd like to see all the pieces in place and that's just basically the starter ropes coming up off of it. Okay, it's got a starter rope, it's got all the wheels. It looks to be all in one piece. It has the on off lever up there. Yeah, you can see up there, all right, for the kill. The uh, brake, the on off lever does the, uh, it actuates the brake here. When you release this lever, it engages a brake around the flywheel and it gives it braking action to stop the blade real fast. And it disables the spark going to the spark plug. So it stops immediately. Okay. If a mower didn't have, or what's common, the cable is not working right and it's busted, I might just eliminate this whole cable thing and hook up a quick on-off kill switch that you can get from the hardware store for 4 or $5. Uh, so anyway, this is everything that's kind of here on this push mower, basic push mower. So I'm thinking, you know, clean this thing up. I'd probably get 100 bucks for it, make it look nice. There's no bag. I got 
I got like three different bags uh, laying around, but I don't think I have one for this, but it won't really matter. People could just use this as a mulcher just to get their grass cut. So what are we looking for? All right. Basically all in one piece minus the bag. The wheels are on there. They're attached pretty good. Okay, that's cool. And then you want to go up to it and see if if it even pulls. Okay, it pulls. And I can feel a little bit of compression. You know, there's some resistance to my pulling, but if you listen really close, there's something that is kind of rubbing. Okay, so there's some grass that's on the underside of the deck here. And I did look earlier, there's a lot of grass built up here and it's pretty heavy. So if I take some of this grass off, it may get rid of some of that uh, grinding noise. And the grass is kind of hard now, so that, that might be what's causing the grinding noise. I'm hoping it's nothing internal. Oh, it kind of wants to start already. So let's see if it'll even pop. I just felt a little ignition there, so I'm priming it. This one does have a primer bulb. So I'm gonna prime it a little bit, see if it'll fire. Okay, so that's good. It's got life. And uh, that's the first time I ever really tried to start it. So it's alive, but it won't continue to run. See, if we prime it, that's like shooting fuel up into the carburetor. So we know that uh, it wants to run. You do that a couple more times. Okay, so we know it's got life, and if it didn't do that, you know, if it didn't do that little bit of uh, trying to run, I would take and take this air cleaner cover off right here. Okay, there are different kinds of air cleaner covers, and down here in the lower hole here, you just spray some starter fluid down in there and see if, uh, if it'll fire. And if it fires but then dies real quick, that means... Okay, it's able to run, but the carburetor is not allowing fuel to flow properly th through the carburetor and up into the engine. Okay, that's a little strange because it was just popping on its own even without carburetor cleaner. So anyway, what I'm planning on doing here is pulling this carburetor off real quick and show you the common issues with this carburetor, what happens, and how to clean it. And it's really quite simple. But uh, before you really go to running it much, you wanna make sure that it does have some oil in it, right? Okay, that should be about one of the first things. And I did check earlier, it does, it's totally full of gas, so it's probably fresh fuel that she put in there. You can smell it, and you can kind of tell if it's uh, old, nasty gas or not. Uh, here's the oil filler thing. The oil fill area. And that is just totally covered with oil. I mean, that thing, I don't know if that uh, is way, way over full or not, but we're going to see here real quick. Wipe this thing off and try it again. Just dip it where it touches, don't screw it in. And okay, yeah, it's got it's got oil on there. It's under the uh if I can focus on that. Yeah, it's under that fill mark right about there. So that's good. Just to make sure we're not running it without any oil in it. So I'm gonna move this camera down. And we're going to start pulling that carburetor off to see what's going on with it. That's most likely all the issue is the carburetor's just got a little uh, blockage in there someplace. These are not too difficult to do. So, uh, And the air cleaner <clears throat> is pretty nice and clean. So we know it's not overfilled or hasn't been really overfilled with oil. Because when, uh, when the people do that, usually it's, it shoots back out 
past the crankcase breather and it gets onto the uh, intake um, sponge right here and soaks it up and then it runs really rich, it runs terrible, then it won't run. So over overfilling with oil is bad. So what we'll do is uh, start taking this carburetor off.